What's going on, LSU? Shimmy the Rusher here, aka Alex Shim95, and I'm bringing you a search and destroy on Kawari. So, this entire match, I'm basically rushing. I'm using the M93 Rafka Silence. My class setup is Stopping Power Pro, Marathon Pro, Ninja Pro. Uh, pretty standard rushing setup, and my kill streaks are 357. So, I do end up getting 15 kills with my Rafka and 1 with my Predator Missile. So, you know, I find that to be a pretty successful uh, search and destroy match. So basically in this video I'd like to introduce myself to those who don't know who I am. I'm Alex Shim 95 and uh, this is my third post to LGU. Uh, the one previous to this one was me giving you guys some rushing tips and tactics and I got great feedback from that video. I get like 160 likes and 15 dislikes and uh, all in all it was a pretty good video. I sound a little robotic but uh, it was just basically a tutorial and I wanted to let you guys know that that's not my normal commentating style. Like I'm really relaxed when it comes to commentating um, my gameplays are all rushed so they're not boring like camping like I rather give you guys in, like a nuke rushing rather than like three nukes in one game where you're just sitting back and camping and waiting for people so that's basically my playstyle I rush and my commentaries are relaxed and you know I sometimes tend to have like rushing commentaries where I just talk fast and uh, I know you guys like that when it comes down to like I don't know Modern Warfare 2 is getting a little boring so I just, just try to spice it up a little bit so in this video, I actually wanted to talk about my series out of my channel called Techno Timeouts. It's basically where like I'm playing Search and Destroy, and I just pull off like a 1v5, 1v6 clutch. And uh, during that clutch, I just like blast techno music. And I really, really wish I could show you guys in this video like a little preview. But I actually had like the entire video done and set and put on drop packs, and I submitted it to LGU. And uh, they said that I'm not allowed to have any music on it, or it was in the guidelines, and I should have read them before, but unless it's the music I make, which it is not. I'm not allowed to post to LGU, so this whole entire commentary is due over, but, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It definitely allows me to, like, redo my commentary and make it better for you guys, but, uh, back to the point about my techno timeouts. I mean, uh, on my channel, I've gotten great feedback from it from all my subscribers, and I really, really wish you guys can check it out. I mean, it's really fun. It relaxes. Relaxes. Um, <laughs> it definitely lightens up the commentary. And in terms of uh, watching it, I find it to be uh, much more entertaining than just like a regular old commentary which is uh, kind of lackadaisical, boring voices. But uh, that's definitely a heads up on my channel. Go check that out if you can. And now I wanted to talk about Minecraft, the game that's slowly taking over YouTube. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, like, I'm personally not into Minecraft, but I know that some of you guys are. And, uh... I know it's slowly making its way to one of the more top games out there. I know C Nanners like C Nanners. Uh, C Nanners likes to make it. Pyro Punch. I've seen him make videos of it. I'm sure there's a bunch of other commentators that uh, make Minecraft videos. But honestly, in my opinion, this game looks like it's made from like a 13-year-old kid that bought like $20 video editing software like Walmart. I mean, the graphics on it are just awful. Like I don't know. Maybe that's they purposely did that to like make things new. But, I mean, it's definitely something new. I'm not saying it's necessarily a bad thing either. But, uh, I don't know. As I said before, definitely not my cup of tea. Uh, I know about, like, LGU guys, the audience seems to like it. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't mind it, but it's not, like, a video I'm going to, like, look for. Like, I'm definitely still into the Modern Warfare 2 commentaries. And uh, until Black Ops comes out, I see myself just making a... Uh, actually, no, I actually wanted to talk to you guys about like what other games you want to see like I'm still gonna be making my work for two videos until black ops comes out and uh, And some of you know on my channel I make geometry war videos And if you don't know what that is go check it out on my channel uh, along with the techno timeouts uh, It's just a new thing like geometry wars. It's just like an arcade game you get on the Xbox live marketplace And as I said, it's like an arcade game It's just like a game you'd find on like mini clips or like addicting games. and It's just so much fun it's definitely different than other games. It's uh, it's more of like a tactical game where you just like shoot gems, and like each gem has its like its own quality, and like its own. I don't even know how to say, it, um, in words. But definitely go check it out on my channel. Um, I have those videos up. I have a uh, Modern Warfare 2 Techno Timeout. Oh, really sorry for like mentioning the Techno Timeout so many times, but I really, really want you guys to check it out. I really think you guys are gonna like it, and. Uh, yeah, so now I just want to move on to a whole new kind of subject. I wanted to talk about commentators and commentary styles for a little bit. And before that, I want to talk about, like, getting into the commentary groove. Like, I notice it's a time process. Like, no commentator comes into the 
Call of Duty community commentating business and just run shit. That's not how it works. It's like, for me, I find it to be more of a time process. And I think all of you will agree with that. Like, two months ago, my comfort level with commentating was like zero. And now it's like pretty much perfect. Like, I can talk into a computer 10 minutes, no problem. Two months ago, I wouldn't even be able to talk to like 30 seconds without like taking a break and trying to think to what think on what to talk about and uh thumbs up if you agree with me like i don't know how to say it more clear it's just uh, a time process and uh, now i just want to move on to more uh, commentary styles i know there's like three styles out there there's a guy that makes you laugh and a great example of that is only use me blade there's like something about him like you don't even know but he just makes you laugh uh, another commentator is like uh commentator just talks about random stuff and you don't even know why you enjoy him so much it's just like his voice or something about him is just entertaining and that to me is definitely C Nanners like everybody loves C Nanners like I can't name one guy like he's such a nice guy and he like I don't know that's that's basically all I can say about him and the last kind of uh, subject I want to talk about commentating wise is uh, the guy that makes you think and uh, a perfect example of that is Hutch because he has a series out and it's about like a month old and it's just him talking about God and atheism and like it's it's so big like there's so many comments on it the conversation is incredible on it it's just all in all an amazing commentary and you know he really made me like think and I don't know think about life and religion and it was all in all just a great commentary so uh, definitely in my style I I would think I'm more of a C Nanos guy like I'm not that funny and I don't really think I make you guys think about life but uh, I don't know I hope I'm interesting not uh I'm not a that I hope I'm not that bad of a commentator, but definitely techno timeout. I'm saying it one more time. Definitely go check it that out right now. After the video is over, uh, I find it to be extremely entertaining, and I'm a hundred percent sure you think the same thing. And uh, yeah, my goal in the future is just to uh, become an A-list director in LG Gaming Union. That's my uh, that's my only commentating goal in the future. Um, I know that the whole uh, YouTube sponsorship or machine thing I won't be coming anytime soon so uh whatever until then hopefully I'll become an A-lister and uh, that's pretty much the end of the commentary leave your guys feedback I always respond back to your feedback if it's a good feedback I look at everything so uh, yeah thumbs up if you like the commentary and uh as I said before leave some feed app feedback that's it guys I'm out hope you guys enjoy the commentary peace